Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a smart distribution box solution that made by Raspberry Pi. It's an 8-channel power distribution box. Last week we have made a video how to DL it step by step. And in this video I will explain the details how it works and how to DIY according to your requirement. Okay, let's begin to see these details. Okay, you can see this is metal box and we can open this box and you can see all I have inside I have installed the home assistant at here so this video I will use this tablet running the home assistant okay let's look at this whole system principle okay you can see uh, this is the whole system and the brick and the Kinkoni server mini and the extended relay module and the power supply and you can see that I have tested with my home assistant tablet only one, two, three, four and turn all off and turn all on and all off and also you can see that is input state and you can see that I have eight channel digital input and one, two, three, four and eight and ground so I can use this short for digital input 1 and in my home system you can see input 1 that is for on and for off you can see I can change for on and for off so this also can monitor the 8 channel of digital input and you can see that a digital input so you can see this is our main controller that is a server it's a local server so that you can see that is for the output uh, just uh, this is really output and that is for the power and for digital input and s485 and this is for usb uh, you can connect with the mouse and the keyboard and the type c and the hdmi connect with the monitor and the sd card have installed the home assistant and the ethernet okay so we can install this box at here so this is a brain that is a smart system installed inside of the box and you can see here that we can power off and I will show you some details just the power off and you can see that is the main brick that is uh, connected with a single face if you want to use a three face you just replace uh, this brick with a three face version I use the single face that is the leave line and the neutral line so you can see the red one and the blue one and the blue you can see also have connect with this terminal uh, that is for terminal uh, for neutral and that have you can see this leave line have at here and back to this middle of this brick so this cable you can see that have connect with this terminal uh, this all have connected together but why I'm not connect at here at this point and connect at here because the current uh, will spread you can see some current will go through this direction and the sun current will go through these directions so that the cable uh, and this point uh, will let the, the current smaller if I have only connect with this one so all brick uh, have add this current all add to this point so that's, that current will be very large it's dangerous so I need to connect to this middle of this brick okay and you can see the brick output and this also have a fuse uh, that also have connect with the leave line uh, to this fuse you can see this is not brick you can see I can open it and get get off, out of this fools so this fools just protect this power supply install into it so this only use for this power supply so it's a low current uh, this is DC 12 voltage output and 4.5 ampere so the input uh, is from this range AC so this is for power supply that is L line and N line uh, leave line and neutral line and this have output uh, DC 12 volt 
that is output uh, positive and negative for voltage. So you can see uh, this is ground and this is 12 volt. This is 12 volt because this 12 volt have connect to this uh, server's power supply. The server's power supply also can use 12 volt or 24 volt. Uh, so you can see that is 12 volt for power supply and this is the ground for this whole box. And also you can see this have a channel brick. Just uh, you can turn on and turn off every channel. And this every channel output the red line have uh, goes through this pipe and uh, go to at here. This is com, 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 com. And this another point that is normal open. This is normal open, normal open. So this can be controlled by this relay. And this relay and the output as uh, a terminal uh, to your load, uh, to your light and to your cotton or to your different electronic load at this uh, screw terminal. Okay, uh, this is for extend relay. This relay max is six ampere. So if you want large current, you can change this one. Because this relay, you can see that is removable. If the relay is black, if the relay is broken or is bad, you can easy to replace it. So you can see that is the relay, Omulun relay, that is high quality. It's 12 volt DC, or also you can change to 24 volt. So that you can see is 16 ampere for load. So it's enough. So we can just replace a new relay, just plug in. So it will be very easy uh, to replace a, a new relay if it broke. And you can see the controller have connect with the Ethernet, or you can also connect with Wi-Fi. If you CM4 Raspberry Pi is Wi-Fi version, I have used the Ethernet because it's stable. And this SD card, so you can also use the SD card read from the computer, or use the USB read uh, to write and read the SD card. Okay, just install it here. And uh, there are eight channel relay output. Uh, you can see the every channel that have COM, normal open, and normal close. And we will use the COM and normal open, uh, these two points. And you can see uh, every COM, every COM, that have connect with DC 12 volt, DC 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt, just all have connected 12 volt from this power supply, just from this 12 volt. So if the relay is on, that is number one channel output will output 12 volt and to this terminal. And that is the first channel. You can see this first channel uh, just for first relay. So when you home assistant, uh, the software controlling relay one is on, so that this one will have DC 12 volt output and to this terminal and let this relay become on. And if the home assistant is turned off, so this will be zero volt, just ground, and this is no power and the relay will be off. So we just use this normal open, normal open, and eight channel normal open have connect with this external relay module. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just eight channel. Uh, go to this eight channels relays coil, and this board also have connect with the DC 12 watt for orange terminal and the ground for this black color terminal. So so that you can use this one uh, to control this relay board, and you can see if I power on and the blue LED is on, and the home assistant is began work. And now you can use the home assistant to control this relay on and off. But if your home assistant is broke, if your home assistant, the server is broke, you can see if I 
remove this network cable. Even if I power off this, this terminal, you can see, power off, and this uh, stop work. But if you want uh, emergency to turn on and turn off, really, we can also use this uh, menu country button, you can see. I can turn on and turn off. I can use this one. This is this really. You can see. I can this is LD indicate, and we can look at how it works. You can see the relay is on. The relay is off. So the relay is on. You can see the coin is that the contact is work. So this button just controls this relay physically. Uh, without system, without software, without network. So just use this button, control this relay directly. So you can see, just every channel uh, must have a menu control button so that uh, you can control this relay without any software uh, because the system maybe have broken. And here you can see that is Earth. With the Earth, you can connect with your house Earth. Okay, you can see that is Earth uh, connect with this this door. So this is the whole eight channel Raspberry Pi power distribution box uh, principle. And if you want use a large current, uh, you just replace this relay module uh, for large current relay, or you can replace with AC contact uh, for such as for 25 ampere or 30 ampere, 40 ampere, even if 100 ampere, if you want the relay is large. And you can also change this brick with large current version. The main brick that is 63 ampere. So you can also change it. Just if you use three phase, change this one. And if you use three phase, uh, phase one, phase two, and phase three, maybe you can connect with different brick with different uh, face line. So that will be, uh, the load will be balanced. Okay, this is the whole system principle and how to DIY it and how to uh, calculate some different parts by yourself. Hope you can make a beautiful power distribution box by yourself. Thanks for watching.